Mike's here. Yeah, Michigan coach and staff. Works as hard as the wrestlers. Oh yeah, I stay young with these guys. Except for uh, the uh, assistant coach, he's the only one that the volunteer assistant. Oh yeah. He's the That's only one. I... He's the only one not working out right now. He seems to be on break this morning. I didn't know he had a break. I didn't know he had break time this morning. Maybe he's not chasing that 2012 dream right now, coach. <laughs> yeah, I know. We have to talk to him a little bit. So coach, what are, what are their titles over there, the Torella brothers, what are they? Mine is my director of operations, and uh, Josh is our assistant strength and conditioning coach. Okay. He works with Justin. And they're alumni too, so Absolutely. they got that going for them yep. too. The Michigan alums, and that's one thing you're going to see about my staff here. Yeah, my whole staff, we're all, we're all Michigan guys. We all went to Michigan, you know. Um, of course, Mike Kozicki wrestled at St. Ed's, and Andy Rogan wrestled at St. Ed's, and Trello Brothers, Kirk Jost, who I wrestled with, is my head assistant. Our staff's been been together for a long time, very solid. Um, I think we've got one of the best staffs in the country. And, uh, as you can see, these guys are in here. Early uh, Saturday morning, not even 9 o'clock yet? Yeah, we got started up at 8 o'clock this morning. So. It's good to be here, man. It's good to be here. How big is it for you to have someone like uh, Tyrell Todd run your practice right now? Oh, he's, he's, a, he's a workhorse. He's a workhorse. He's a great leader. Because you guys so can't, I, you guys can't be in there. No, yeah, we can't be in there this morning. So yeah. they're just, we're just doing an open room. You know, Ty just took the reins and uh, started running the workout. And uh, you know, he's. Uh, I saw that from day one. He's been a leader. You know, I knew from the time he walked in here as a freshman, he was going to be a leader. He's been a great captain. And. Uh, you know, uh, him and Steve and my, my two captains this year, Steve Luke, Steve's the same way. Steve has really developed into a great leader as well. Both those guys are going to be going to be outstanding leaders this year, especially for the good young kids we got in the program. And uh, it's great to see. You know, we're breaking ground on our new facility today. That's exciting. Five and a half million dollars. It's going to be, in my mind, the premier wrestling training center in the country. And uh, it'll be done. It'll be done by uh, early next fall, by September. So this will be our last year in Chrysler, and then uh, we'll be able to move into our new training facility. What will you guys do uh, this summer in the transition? Will you still have this room yeah, here? Yeah, we'll still have this. Yeah, they won't be doing anything with, with our, our space until, until we're completely moved out. So you guys will have a total smooth transition. You'll never be without a room or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. and that's a great thing about having a, having an all you know all new construction. And it's a self-standing you know just wrestling training center. And uh, it's about 18,000 square feet. We've got 7,500 square feet of wrestling. That's not bad. Space. No, no, not <laughs> at all. We're going to have a, our strength and conditioning area is going to be up over top uh, on a balcony, looking down over the training area, over the practice area. So it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be something. And uh, you know, uh, for some of our alums to step up, and, uh, you know, it means a, you know, it says a lot about their kind of experience they had at Michigan. And, and then uh, you know, our athletic director, you know, stepped up and helped us out. Bill Martin. Bill Martin, yeah. And, uh, so. gotta, I'm gonna get to talk to him today. I'm excited. Right, yeah, good. Good. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. He's done. He's done wonderful things here in Michigan. I mean, if you look at all the facilities right now, they're all being upgraded. You know, our, our, our uh, baseball and women's softball facilities, all brand new. Uh, just just, just complete, completed this past year. Uh, our, our stadium uh, renovation project, 230 million dollars. And uh, we've got a new uh, indoor practice football facility going up. Uh, we've got a new wrestling center uh, going up. Uh, we've got new soccer fields, and new soccer facilities going up. We're working right now on new men's and women's basketball practice facility connected on the uh, east side of Chrysler here. Uh, so our, our, you know, we've got a brand new... Is there anything that's not going on? No, we've got a brand new state-of-the-art academic center. Uh, that was another big part of Bill Martin's... Yeah, and that was the first thing he said he was going to do before he renovated any facilities. He's going to make sure that we have a state-of-the-art uh, academic center uh, for our student athletes. We have all our, you know, counselors, uh, tutors available, learning coordinators, learning specialists for the guys, and it's just a, it's unbelievable. So you're saying Michigan cares about academics? Absolutely. It's a great academic school. Uh, we just, you know, recently voted one of the top, the 18th, uh, uh, voted the 18th best school in the world, uh, number one public institution in the world. Really? Yeah. It's not just bad. Recently came out some. So I mean, yeah, it's a great academic school. And one of the things that I really appreciate about the University of Michigan is the balance that we offer between academics and athletics. You know, it's not an athletic factory. We are student athletes here, and our athletic department is committed to that, making sure our guys are getting a great education and being part of something special. You know, so.
That's, right. that's how I think we separate ourselves from a lot of schools. Coach, you're, you're going to start losing your sweat here? Yeah. I'm going to have to catch up with you later, and I'll talk to you. <laughs>